It's a muddy mess today. I can't work. So it's project day. This is an Alice Chalmers 11B disc. My grandfather used this on the original farm. They pulled it with either a Farmall H or an Alice Chalmers B tractor, just depending on what the tractor's duties were at the time. But common for the times, this one has a weak point. And its weak point are these bearings. They actually have wood inserts in them. Wood and dirt don't mix, and they're wore out. Pillow block bearings back. Yes, I know. Wood bearings are available. You can get them. However, I would continue to have the same problem that I've had with it wearing the wood out. And I need this disc. I need to use it. So this was the best option for me. But since I've fixed this game, it needs to be put back and we've had a little bit of issues finding some pins. And I'll show you why. Well, it's what they had. I know, you're thinking, you could have got a carriage pin. Well, the local hardware store didn't have one. This is what they had. So I need this to somewhat resemble this so that I can put that disc back together. I know, right, who uses a carriage pin? So we'll make that work. To make the top of this, Square. First thing I'm gonna have to do is find the center. And they were nice enough to put these marks here that go from corner to corner. So if we just take a straight edge and mark these corner to corner. And the resulting intersection is our center. Now that we have our center, which is right here, we can take our straight edge. And it doesn't matter where we cut it. As long as the sides are parallel to each other. And it's going to be the start of our carriage bolt. Important safety tip from Egon. Don't pick these up by hand. They're hot. Now that we have somewhat parallel surfaces, we can cut the other two sides to match. Still be using this center line and mark off of those. This is where having a small machinist square would be helpful. The distance that I have marked here is half of what I want the carriage bolt to be. And what I'm trying to do is to make sure that I've got these lined up so I can have somewhat of a straight line. Again, this is going into a 70 year old disc. There will be some slop. This is by no means perfect. It would probably not pass a this old Tony test, but for our application, it'll be fine.
Just kidding. Now, something we probably need to keep it from falling through the hole would be a head. This is what happens when you can't see. One eternity later. Strictly for aesthetic reasons, I filled that in. How long to cut it? Hmm, about that long. One, two. <coughs> two. So what has happened is that this clevis has spread. It's too far apart. It makes the pin too short. You look at that one, you can see there's no gap on the bottom. This one, however, has one. So the first thing we're gonna try, the trusty C-clamp. that that's going to get it close enough. Sometimes things need persuasion.
Much better.